Daily Mail next, please. The road to hell just got another resurfacing job. Oh, right. I thought we were talking about the roads in Scotland, <laughs> which I've discussed many times. So this is lab-grown meat, um, which is 25 times worse for the climate than actual beef. Now, Amazing. apparently, that vegetarians won't touch this because right. there is a cell from the animal, a cell, not killing the animal, but no. there is a cell in which to regenerate this. And it was very interesting. I remember during the Edinburgh Fringe, it was a few years back, a friend of mine had a line of cashmere, and we were doing a podcast that was sponsored by this cashmere, and there was a guy who was a vegan that wouldn't be like, could you put a bit of the cashmere? No, won't do it. Oh. And you're like, OK, well, that's, if you're going to be that principled, because I think we've all got the friend who's the meat-eating vegetarian, yeah. you know, the puritanical that has the Sky <laughs> subscription and the bad attitude and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, apparently this isn't going to be the big kind of saviour that it was touted to be. I mean, having read the story, I think it's an early test, and to be fair to them, I'm, I'm against this. I like good old-fashioned meat, you know, but, but, but I realise this is going to be a generational shift. I, I, I met, I was on a panel with, with various investors in Edinburgh several years ago at the festival mm -hmm. and there was one of the can't remember his name but he had he was a billionaire he had made some very good calls over the course of his career and he said lab grown meat and immortality were his next two big bets right you know, this was about five oh, wow. years ago and he was like I'm going all in on it I yeah. know you won't understand it you're 50 years old it's too late for you but trust <laughs> me teenagers are gonna go for this stuff because yeah. they are anti-cruelty you know? I think if you're gonna eat lab grown meat you won't want to be immortal the no. <laughs> each other out. But, I mean the this, I mean, obviously we're in early doors with this technology, so maybe, you know, yeah. in 10 years' time it won't uh, take 25 times, it won't be 25 times worse for the client mm, than, yeah. than beef. But if you look at lamb, it grazes on upland moors that yeah. aren't used for anything else, so, I mean, it's a perfectly healthy, climate-friendly... We meat. should go just, back to eating whales, really, but we should yeah. just farm them more responsibly. And it's ethical, because one, exactly. one whale is like a hundred pigs. Absolutely.